Dad knows that his temper has been completely destructive for his family and he needs to go about changing things and putting things right. And the first thing he needs to do is work on his relationship with Noah. I think it's really important that you guys just hang out and have time together. Uh -huh. And uh, we can do that whilst we are building zero kids. Okay, there are instructions in there. I know. They're going to learn together how to fix this thing up and let it off. All right, Ed, come here. I'll give you a job. Okay, give me a job. Assemble the rocket. Assemble the rocket, okay. Noah, he just like lost his mind. It's right up his alley. It's pretty cool. Put the rocket in backwards. Are you sure? I, on the other hand, was a little bit apprehensive about what am I going to bring to the table here. I vaguely remember this when I was a kid. You used to do one? Yeah, I think I was your age. I was fifth grade. Put the engine in the hole first. Perfect. The beautiful thing about this relationship right now is that the experience gave them the opportunity to talk to one another, to become closer, which is healing their relationship and putting it right back on track. What do you want to do when you grow up, Noah? Oh. Engineer. An engineer? What kind of engineer would you like to be? Roller coaster. Roller coaster design engineer. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Given some of the difficulty that Noah and I's relationship has suffered, I think it's really important that we're now getting an opportunity to spend quality time with one another. This is pretty cool, man. Oh my word! Isn't that cool? Excellent. What do you think, Sweet. buddy? Are you ready? Do a countdown. Yes, let's do a countdown. Yes. Okay. Five. Four, three, two, one. to see how happy he was, the look on his face and what a thrill it was for him to uh, spend his time with me, you know, that uh, he had a good day. It was, it was great. Was it worth it? Was yeah. it worth coming to the oh, park with yeah. that? Absolutely. For real. It was awesome to shoot off the rocket because I got to spend time with my dad. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. The park was a wonderful experience, but there's something to be said when you actually admit that your behavior has been wrong as a parent and that you put it right. When you're accountable for where you've been and you take ownership from that, you can clean the slate. This little boy will grow up and know that you know what, when he's not perfect and when he makes mistakes, guess what you can do? Admit that he's wrong. Yeah, and fix it. I thought that was a great opportunity for me to sit down with him and have a heart to heart and let him know that things I had done were wrong. And I wanted to talk to you for a little while. <clears throat> Dad's a little emotional. It's because I feel really bad about how I've treated you. And I was very rough on you. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that I was wrong. Give me a hand. I was wrong, honey. I'm sorry. I'm gonna change. So we can see no more yelling. I'm gonna talk things out. Okay. My dad realizes that he was so tough on me before Jojo came and helped us. You have a hug, buddy. It felt great to give Noah a hug. I wanna start fresh with him, and I want him to know. That I'm for real. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now I needed to hear that. He needed to see his dad reaching out to him in that way. You step up and you show it now because we can only keep saying and saying sorry, saying sorry, saying sorry. You step up and you do what's necessary. You put the honey in the king. Now it's time for dad to make good on his word. And if he doesn't control his temper, he's going to lose Noah's trust completely. <laughs> the next evening, Mum asked Noah to put his things away, but he started to give her attitude. Well, you said we could do it! I think you misunderstood that because that was not, that's not what was said. And it was the perfect opportunity for Dad to step back and allow Mum to take the lead when it came to discipline. Do not call us liars, Noah. I don't like that at all. Look at me when I'm talking to you. If you don't look at me, you're going to go to bed right now. 
Okay, I want you to go to bed. I was ready. You ain't gonna give me a toy. You're gonna go by the time I count to three. One. Go look at you, please. No, it's over, Noah. Two. Go on, please. I'll look at you. Come on, please. Three. You need to go to bed. You need to go to bed. No, go listen. No. I think you can't leave it. Let him make a decision. He has to walk himself up to his bedroom, otherwise he will lose this spaceship. Come here for a minute. What's your next move? I don't know because I can't pick him up and bring him upstairs. Do you know what? You're going to have to learn a handle, Noah. Mm -hmm. So you'll go over and you'll say to him, you've lost your spaceship, mm -hmm. okay, if he doesn't go upstairs. Are you going to listen to me and go up into your room or I have to make the decision? Um, I can't trust you though. Tell me why I can't trust you. When did I, what are you talking about? Uh, this negotiation. If Joe weren't there, it would have been the old pattern of debating with Noah and arguing with Noah as he continued to plead. I suggest right now you listen to what your mother's saying because she's about to make a decision for you if you don't listen to her. So that means I'm going to have to take the rocket away. Oh, Oh, no, you haven't shown me. I already said that. No, no. Come over here for a minute. We're not going to get into a fight with him. We're not into a fight. What you are going to do is take the rocket because he's been told that he can't have the rocket. Okay? If he fights you over that, then it's going to break. Over go. Go and get it. Go and get it. A lot of times I'd be called in to discipline. And to see her stand on her own, it's, it's good to see. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I think that mom did a fantastic job. Noah is aware that when you disrespect, there are consequences. And she took his spaceship away and he had to go straight to bed. I'll be back in several days. Joy? I feel very nervous about Joe going, but I'm just gonna try really hard to keep hearing her voice and doing the things that she's shown me. Listen, hold it down. Hold it down with your temper. I'm not gonna lie, I don't want her to go. If I am not able to keep my anger in check, it'll be disastrous, really. Coming up on Super Nanny. Hey, Noah. Noah gives attitude to Dad. You're not hungry? No, I'm not. Can I tell that? Thank you, honey. And Dad gets himself in trouble. Oh. Let's talk about the serious side of that. When Super Nanny returns. And now, ask Super Nanny. How can I keep an eye on my teen's internet use? A. Install spy software so that you can monitor the websites and chat rooms they visit. B. Set time limits and talk to your teen about what sites are appropriate and inappropriate for them to visit. C. Limit their internet use to homework and school-related activities only. Find out the 